mind. I expect your mind to be distorted. I expect your mind to be messed up. I expect your mind to be confused. I need you to tell me where your heart is. Where, where is your heart? Because if God sees the condition of your heart, honey, he can put you in a situation to change your mind. me and telling me, oh pastor, I'm going through because your heart is contaminated, because your heart is in the wrong place, because you've given the very thing that you need to give to God to something or somebody else, and now that you don't know what to do because you messed up in your mind, God stepped in the middle of your heart and your mind and said, I'm going to be the God in your life if I've got to turn your life upside down. Materialism, I gave my heart to a man or a woman. I, I'm giving my heart to my pets. I'm giving my heart to those that abuse me and rape me. I gave my heart to those individuals out on the street. I gave my heart to my homies, and I need to get my heart back so I can give my heart to God. Oh, put somebody and say, I gotta get my heart back. I gotta get my heart back. I gave my heart to leadership that hurt me. I gave my heart to the church. I gave my heart to the sisters and brothers. And now that I'm all jacked up, I don't know what to do. But I came my blessed faith this morning to let you know it's time to get your heart back. Y'all sit down, you get me excited. If I can get my heart back. I need my heart back. Get it. That's why the Bible said, Oh mm, God, I beseech you, I beg you, I petition you. Therefore, brethren, by by the mercies of God, you don't realize that God is showing you mercy long enough. That you can realize that he's standing in the middle of your heart and your mind. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present this body. affections, this, this body that has desires and feelings. Can, can you take this body and present it to me? Why God? Because if you can present that body then I can take everything else on the inside of you and begin to deal with it. All I'm asking you to do is to hold yourself a little while, to keep yourself a little while long enough for me to change your mind. I'm trying to move in the text. Oh God, offer your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your oh God reasonable. Oh, look at somebody and say, be reasonable.
is getting ready to kill you that you can't bring your body under subjection. The devil is alive this morning. Oh, yes. God is standing in the middle of your mind and your heart and says, I'll interrupt every place of your life until you submit to me. I'll mess with your finance. I'll, I'll mess with your family. I'll mess with your children because I'm the only prince that's going to be able to connect your mind with your heart and put this whole thing back together. I wish I could get six people to touch somebody and say, I'm on my way to get my heart back. I'm on my way to get my heart back. I'm taking it out of my past. I'm taking it out of the hands of leadership. I'm taking it away from boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm getting my heart back. Tell somebody else and say, go get it, baby. Go get it. Go get it. I celebrate you today. Go get it. I praise God for you today. Go get it. Between your heart and your mind. So I 